It was, it was six inches thick of just pure duckweed. And a video was taken of someone trying to pull a rake through it or put a shovel down into it. It was just so thick. You couldn't, it was completely like a cement, like a, a pile of cement. It was just, you can't even walk through it. You can't even navigate through it at all. It was never beyond the east side of the lake. But now we're seeing big patches of it floating out into the whole the whole rest of the lake uh, where it wasn't before. It now at this time of year, the duckweed's duck over here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we just have to keep, it really, is not it's it's at a point where you can't paddle through it i mean no. it, 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 you it's, know it, it's not free free paddling it's like it's, it's like, like kayaking through oatmeal we used to have frogs tons of frogs tons of turtles um and even some fish we could see we could see the fish clearly in the water you can't even see through the water anymore and if you do try to fish i mean even if you thought about throwing a lure you wouldn't i mean come on, you wouldn't throw a lure in there anymore it just sits on top of the duckweed. You can't get a lure to fall through yeah. two inches of duckweed and go to the bottom so you can catch a fish. If we're in our little area of the lake, we're noticing how bad it's gotten and we're seeing it now in other parts of the lake throughout the summer. It, we, our concern is that it's going to con continue and really does need to be controlled. And no one wants to, you know, have a nice day in the water swimming or sailing or boating when you have to contend with this.